Yo, what is going on, you scumbag septiles? Today, we're going to be playing some games with the new and improved Guardian build that I have been running around with. Now, hold on. I'm not convinced this is the best way or correct way to play the deck, but this is what I've been playing recently. Um, so, we do have four Guardian in here. We do have the one Low Punny because the Jumping Balloon is just real good um, at one shotting stuff when our opponent overextends their bench. I still got the Adventure Bag in here. Because um, I like getting our charms and our amulet to our hand when we need them. I got one, the two energy spinner, two great catchers, no custom catchers. We've got four great potion, four pokey gear, three reset stamp still, four switch still. I got four tag call because it finds all of our uh, tag team Pokemon. And it can find our tag supporters, which we played for Cynthia and Caitlyn. And two Lana and Mallow, two tag switch. I'm on four power plant right now. No chaotic swell because um, dealing with Keldeo is really annoying and you just gotta throw the power plants at them man uh, we got one Faba so we can bounce chaotic swell and then put power plant in play which is super nice um, but yeah it's tough you gotta constantly push the what's it called out of play it's really annoying to deal with um, but uh, we try and do our best to deal with chaotic swell four greens obviously we got one lucamine so we can set up the infinite chain supporter chain between Cynthia lucamine and something like Mallow if we want where we lucamine for Cynthia and Mallow, and then play Cynthia and get Lusamine, and then rinse and repeat. We got one Dragon Fairy Charm for the Reshiram. We got two Ability Fairy Charms for stuff like Volcarona, Silvalli, uh, Flygon. Uh, still works against Mewtwo, Latios, a bunch of stuff. Uh, one Island Amulet. You'll see we don't have the Xerneas GX in here. But I do have the Island Amulet to turn one of our tag teams into being only worth two prizes so we can get up the same prize trade. And then to the energy count, I no longer am able to use my GX attack for the full effect, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Instead, I'm opting to play four draw energy to get some extra draw in the deck and then five fairy energy. And I'm not 100% convinced this is the best way to do it to take away our potential to use our magical miracle for the full effect. But I've been trying it out and the draw energy have been super good. So I'm going to keep testing it. We're still in the testing phase of this set. So I still just want to keep going, see if I can make it work with the four draw energy. If not, if we have to go down to like one draw energy, eight fairy, which I think would be the way to go if you wanted to be able to use your magical miracle for the full effect would be eight one on the, the the energy split i think that would also be fine um but for right now it's the four five and uh yeah that's pretty much all i have to say on the deck let's go ahead and get into some games all right we have a pretty rough start uh with its initial hand but hopefully it improves sometime soon i mean we don't need a draw supporter on our first turn it's just nice to have a draw supporter we can always just fairy song Initially, uh, on our second turn, no matter what, that's what we'd be doing. And then it's okay if we whiff on the first one. There's a welder from our opponent. So if I had to guess, I would say we're up against a Mewtwo box. Hopefully they put down something that can confirm that for us. No, it is the Reshi Rom. Okay, well, we do have a Fairy Charm for that. Fairy Charm for all things. We got the Fairy Charm for this one. So we will be able to, uh, yeah, kind of avoid this uh, entirely if we want to. Looks like we're gonna get uh, Static Shocked here from our opponent's uh, Dedenne. That's rude, super rude from our opponent, but uh, oh well, nothing we can do about it. Yeah, so we do have the Dragon Fairy Charm. Oh, he's going with the Tingly Return, so you know his hand is bad, um, and that's actually real bad for us, because that means we can't even Fairy Song on our second turn until we top deck that switch. Okay, good to Fairy Song. Uh, energy goes up. I am gonna put the Dragon Charm there, and then Fairy Song. Get the two fairies out of the deck onto our bench guy. We usually only Fairy Song once, so that's why I'm kind of fine with the heavier draw energy and lighter on the fairy energy. In this situation, uh, we would maybe Fairy Song twice, but we did prize two of our five fairy energy. So it's gonna have to be just a Fairy Song once. We have an insane amount of potential top decks, though, that we can get here. Uh, tag Whistles, any of the supporters, Pokey Gear. Yeah, crazy amount of options to pull off the top of our deck here to actually get this game moving for us there's an end resolve from our opponent onto their turtonator but it looks like that was a three lightning energy which is not what they want it does work fine for their active though however um now they will be able to do the fabled uh flare bolts um but yeah rough start there it goes <laughs> two more welder and another end resolve from our opponent into their discard pile so already down three welder 
Um, yeah, it's like a rough go of it from both sides here. Our opponent is at least getting to play cards. Um, but uh, yeah, they're not not being played out. Definitely not ended, ending up being played out optimally here uh, from our opponent. They would definitely like to have some other cards being played out differently for sure. All right, I think we're going to get the Guardian and the uh, Caitlyn and Cynthia here. Play the Caitlyn and Cynthia. Discard the uh, Fairy Charm ability. I don't think we need that. That's fine. We don't get a supporter. Um, this guy comes down. Unfortunately, once again, we are in a hand with nothing. Um, didn't get anything. Uh, just going to Fairy Song again for nothing. Uh, like I said, we have four Poke Gear, three Tag Whistle or Tag Call. Three Caitlyn, three greens, um, four ener draw energy as well. And there's the concession from our opponent. So it looks like their bad draw was a little bit too much for them to handle. And we're going to take a dub here uh, as coming out on top on the best of the bad draws here. All right, we're getting into another one here. Our start is a lot better than previously. I think we're going to tag call right off the rip here. Going to get third Guardian and then second the Mallow and Lana's in hand. No idea what we're up against here. Uh, we'll find out shortly i guess um i kind of just want to cynthia and caitlin over greens there's nothing i can really think of that i want to greens into also just draw energy first as well yeah, i think we'll just caitlin and cynthia discard a pokey gear uh and then draw three cards one two three all right um power plant seems worth putting out just in case because we have no idea what our opponent's playing and then throw down another guardian and pass over to our opponent and yeah we're pretty much set up to do whatever we want we really just need to figure out what the heck we're playing against okay there is the adp uh, usually not too scared of him though because uh we are playing guardian which uh which means we do one shot it it is weak to fairy um so that is okay with me uh we're not gonna be able to one shot it this turn but i don't know if they're gonna be able to stop us from one shot it on the following turn we'll have to wait and see uh there's a fairy energy top deck gonna go ahead and throw that on our i think i just want to draw more cards with caitlin and cynthia here um and i think i will discard a guardian this time yep that's fine just draw three just want to keep all the greens in the deck as it is uh go ahead and bench this guy i'm gonna tag call again get that little bunny and that out of the deck i maybe should have done that first actually thin out the deck a little bit more uh attached to our benched uh dude i'm gonna bench the low bunny and then fairy song or two to the benched guardian and then we'll maybe finally see what our opponent has going on here now all we need is a switch to get into this guardian um, so next turn we could go greens for switch and great catcher and just knock this thing out although i assume they're going to attach to it and use their gx attack next turn i would assume that's the point of setting it up uh like this uh, but we'll see maybe they have different plans i can't imagine what their other plans would be and how they would actually be better than doing doing that so uh, that's what I expect to happen here. There's a reset stamp. But like I said, we want to leave all the greens in the deck, which we did. And it looks like that doesn't matter in this scenario because we did not get any of them. We did get another tag call, though. So we can tag call for a, uh, what's it called, actually, a Mallow and Lana. And then switch to the bench and knock this guy out. So, yeah, I think they're hoping that that reset stamp would stop me from being able to knock out their Arceus and Palkia or Dialga ADP. They're, they're hoping that I wouldn't be able to one shot their ADP, but we are going to be able to. Tag call will allow us to do it pretty much no matter what. There's a tag call in our greens. What kind of deck is our opponent playing? They have a bunch of crazy stuff going on in here. There's a tag call from our opponent. And what are they going to get? That is the question. All right, Low Punny and Guzma and Hala. Okay, the Low Punny is a little scary. Um,. We don't have a good way to deal with the low putty now that I have overextended my bench the way I did. Um, but we do have Switch Great Catcher, which should solve most of our problems here. Another Cynthia and Caitlyn. Unfortunately, we don't have a greens to get out of the discard pile when we use this, but that's fine. Um, get rid of this. We're going to draw three. It's fine. One, two, three. All right, we got stuff for next turn. Uh, great Catcher. I'm going to go ahead and ditch two power plants, I think. I'm going to bring up this guy. Before they get to use the GX attack with it, switch, and then storm. And I kind of want to leave all the energy on the active. I don't think they'll be able to set up the low punny in one turn. Uh, but to be safe, we're going to move one to the bench tier and just go with the 2-2 two -two split. Um, yeah, I shouldn't go with the... Eh, we can move two to the bench. 
Yeah, let's move two to the bench guy. But if we're doing that, we should move. Well, we could get a tag switch. So let's go like that. Draw our prize cards. Two. There's our amulet, so we can at least make one of our guardians a non. Not worth three prize cards yet. Yeah, this guy is doing way too much damage for us to deal with, want to deal with right now. So, uh, gotta be careful with that. Yeah, we definitely want to make our active guy, the one that they're most likely going to be knocking out here, a non tag team. We want to make it worth not three prize cards. I mean, it's still a tag team Pokemon, but we want to make it worth not three prize cards. Because they can actually go knock out our active and then knock out Mega Low Pony. Because I did definitely overextend my bench here with GXs when I didn't really have to. I was just like, I don't really want them in the deck anymore. I didn't expect the Low Pony. Now we have to deal with the Low Pony. Oh, shoot. There is a counter gain. All right, here we go. So yeah, like I said, our opponent can actually go knock out this and then counter catcher and knock out the Mega Low Pony. There is the <laughs> Jumping Balloon. Um, I'm trying to think if they could ever get like plus 20 damage from someone. We're definitely going to reset stamp them this turn. Send up this one, put an amulet on it. Or we could put the amulet on the Mega Low Pony because I don't think they can knock out a Guardian Sylveon. So I want to go... Um, yeah, I'm going to put this on the Mega Low Pony actually because I... They knock that out, but I think we have this on the... I don't think he can knock out our active, because it's plus 60 for each one, 80 to 40. So I'm throwing this here. I'm reset stamping. And then I'm going to... I guess I should have done Caitlyn and Cynthia before, but then I'm going to Caitlyn and Cynthia. And I'm going to discard the uh, Mallow and Lana, actually, in this situation. No supporter back. One, two, three. Can't use any of that. We will attach the energy. And then I will storm... Um, move this to here, move this to here, I think I'm going to keep that, uh, do we want all, we could go move this to here instead, oh, but if, something, if this gets knocked out, we lose anyways, so we can have it here, I think we're going to go like that, if either of these get knocked out, we lose anyways, uh, which is, I'd maybe want to be able to, like, retreat this one or something, I don't know, yeah, yeah, we might want to hard to treat this one or something like that. I could also just switch it. Um, yeah, we'll go with that split. Hope our opponent does not have... I don't even know what they would need. They could do, They could have Lysander Labs, Great Catcher, and then knock out this one. I guess that's what it would be. They could go Greens. Yeah, they could go Greens for Lysander Labs, Great Catcher, and then have an Energy out of hand, and they'd be able to knock out this Megalopunny and Jigglypuff uh, with their Mega Low Punny and Jigglypuff, and then they would be able to take the game. If not, I think we're going to get to end up with the dub here. I don't actually know if our second Great Catcher is in our deck, uh, but I'm hoping it is. We're going to Greens next turn, hope the second Great Catcher is in there, and then go Great Catcher Low Punny back into the active and knock it out. Yep, they're making it run away here, and I think it'll probably just be a pass from our opponent. Nope, it's going to be the High Jump Kick, which is actually enough damage to set this up to get knocked out by the Mega Low Punny. So if Great Catcher is not in the deck, which we're going to find out right now. Okay, Great Catcher is prized, but our opponent concedes we don't have a way to guess it up. They assume we do. Either way, we would have been able to heal our Guardian and then keep going around in between our Guardian. We maybe even would have attacked with Mega Lopunny that turn instead and healed our Guardian. Um, and our opponent does end up conceding, thinking we just have access to the Great Catcher when we don't. Whatever, we'll take the dub on that one. All right, we're getting into another one here. Um, another interaction that I just realized with the ability uh, Fairy Charm is that Keldeo actually can't hit us. Oh no, here we go. The Munchlax start, I can already guess what this is. It's gonna be the Doll Stall deck. There's the Steven's Resolve. We don't have a way to knock out the Munchlax immediately. Faba? Does Faba ever do anything for us? I don't think so. So I think we do just lose to this man and his uh, stalling doll deck. Uh, yeah, there's nothing we can really do. This matchup is terrible. And <clears throat> we're going to see if we can rush him down. But if not, we will be conceding real soon. Only going to take two so that we can fairy song the other two out of the deck. Uh, Pokey Gear. Try and find us something. It is a fail. That is, man, what is with this? We have so many supporters in the deck. Opening with these dead hands, man. How? Our deck is like all gas. Tag calls, pokey gears into supporters, bunch of supporters in the deck. Still, whiff. All we have is this Faba, uh, which is not not what exactly what we want here. All right. Yeah, there is the Steven's Resolve from our opponent. The retreat into the Goomster. 
and then it looks like it is gonna be well a skateboard did they get an elms i would have assumed they would have gotten an elms here yep there's the elms and they'll elms for triple uh flabebe probably benching two of them uh, maybe even the third it doesn't really matter at this point they could go ahead and throw the third down but keeping the bench base open is usually a little bit more ideal yeah there is the pokey doll and then the snack search for the stevens resolve on top of the deck um can give this one a couple more turns there's the low pointing top deck and yeah this matchup is absolutely terrible nothing we can do about it we're gonna go ahead and give this one over to our opponent and just concede all right get into another one here our opponent did mulligan once and i think i did see that they were playing ultra necrozma there he is in their malamar deck um so we will be utilizing that uh ultra charm um or the uh, dragon charm here the dragon fairy charm here to prevent that thing from hitting our guardian for sure we definitely don't want that thing punching us in the face for no reason um, so we're going to play that down for sure. Uh, ooh, reinforced access as well. I don't really want to play the green. So I think we'll get a Cynthia and Caitlyn. Uh, play that instead. Just draw some cards. Maybe we'll start with the draw energy. See if we can't draw into a Cynthia and Caitlyn. But I don't even know if I really want to draw into a Cynthia and Caitlyn anyways though actually. I think we'll tag call for two Cynthia and Caitlyn here. Um, yeah. Tag call. We could get Guardian and a Cynthia and Caitlyn. Actually I'm kind of fine with that. Mm-hmm. And then I think I will get rid of the low punny. I don't think he's going to be super good in this matchup. So we're just going to get rid of him there. Um, I think maybe cutting an energy spinner from this build would be fine. We do have the amulet and the dragon fairy charm, which are the important ones. We have the adventure bag as well. That's great as well. Everything's looking great. We're going to use the draw energy first. Um, okay, then we're going to Caitlyn and Cynthia. Um, mm-hmm. We're going to get rid of a tag switch, I think. I don't really want to get rid of a tag switch, but I think that's the better thing to go here. Power plant, get rid of that. We have the great catcher for next turn. Um, and yeah, everything is looking uh, great. Yeah, fairy song here onto the benched guardian. We have a great catcher. We have a tag switch. Uh, we can greens for the adventure bag. I don't know. We have a lot of uh, a lot of cool options coming up. We can pretty much do whatever we want, uh, depending on what our opponent does. Uh, yeah, they had a pretty slow start. Double Jirachi, Ultra Necrozma is never an ideal opener. It doesn't matter what's going on. So yeah, this is looking real good for us. We'll see what our opponent is actually like fully playing. Uh, might not be as good as it appears to be, but it's looking good so far. We'll see here soon in just a second if it is just that good for us um yeah so our plan is to get the dragon charm and the what's it called next turn with the greens we'll use greens get the adventure bag i don't even know what else i'd want to get maybe a switch something like that to give ourselves that option i don't think i'm actually gonna great catcher kill the alternate necrozma yet um although I, I could go for it we'll see what our top deck is maybe i will just go for the great catcher knockout on the alternate necrozma um just do that now before um it just brings it up anyways, and then we get or one of our guardians could get hit by it if they great catcher around the charm, something like that. So I think I maybe may as well just bring it up and punch it. Um, yeah, we'll see here. What is our top deck here? Another power plant. Wouldn't mind getting rid of that. We could go tag call, get ourselves this in a Cynthia and Caitlin. Greens for the what's it called? Like I said, uh, the adventure bag and a switch having access to a switch next turn doesn't sound terrible um maybe some healing would be a little bit better actually though um let's grab ourselves a great potion instead i don't know they have no malamars still so i think a switch is going to be the way to go here yeah we'll grab ourselves a switch just get that in the hand um adventure bag for the two uh tools that we do need this turn or this game i'm gonna go ahead and protect our active uh we don't need to break our active actually we could uh we could maybe throw both of these let's go ahead and tag switch up um these two to the active our active is not gonna die next turn that is for sure so actually i think i want both these on the bench guys um like that and then we're gonna go with the great catcher thin out our hand by these two uh bring up that guy before we have to worry about him and then we're going to storm for the knockout uh, but we're not going to move any of the energy around. We're just going to keep it all where it is. We'll maybe move it next turn once we feel like our active is maybe under some kind of threat or pressure. As of right now, though, 
nothing wrong with just leaving it all on the active. We actually have a Fava here. We could Fava away the escape board, which can actually be a big deal in slowing down uh, Malamar. So we actually, I think that's probably what we're going to do. Is we're just going to Fava away the escape board this turn. And then we could actually get the Fava back with the Cynthia and Caitlyn. Um, and then Fava away their next escape board once that finally makes its way into play as well. We could also just use the Cynthia and Caitlyn, try and find a power plant so we can get rid of their Brilliant Forest. Um, I don't know, we have a lot of different things we can do here. We'll have to wait and see how our opponent's turn ends up going. Finally sees a Mysterious Treasure. They'll finally be able to get themselves an Inke here um, and start setting up. They are only a little bit behind. No, they're, no they are quite a bit behind, but uh, we'll see if they're able to kind of finally start to make some kind of comeback happen here as they do get out their first Inke uh, into play. And second Stellar Wish, will they find another one? There we go, second treasure for our opponent. All right, now they're cruising, uh, but is it a little bit too little, too late? We're gonna find out here soon. Um, like I said, I think I'm just gonna go with that Faba on that escape board and then oh, attach. And then Storm, knock out the active. But once again, not gonna move the energy around, just gonna keep all the energy on the active, get a prize card, another fairy energy, that's perfect. Uh, more energy is really all we need at this point. Um, looking for those draw energy, man. I feel like I never draw into them um, at any point. I guess we're not drawing a whole ton of cards every turn. Um, probably gonna Caitlyn and Cynthia next turn and get that Faba back so I can reuse that at some point. I definitely want to try and reuse that. Gonna take the knock knockout on. What are we gonna take a knockout on? It looks like they spell tag. They're going with the spell tag on the Malamar. I would put the spell tag on the Inke because they could hypnosis this turn, which could be a little bit annoying. Um, but I don't think it's going to matter here in the long run. There's a Metal Energy grab, so it looks like they are going to try and set up for the Ultra Necrozma once again. I think that might be a little bit too little too late. Nope, there's another Inke, but they did grab the Metal Energy off the of Radiant Force. Maybe they only play the one Ultra, and they're going to attach that to the Giratina instead of a Psychic. I don't know. I got no idea what's going on here. There they go. They grab a Cynthia. All I know is they're super far behind and are, are going to need a super ton amount of stuff to make a comeback there they need a lot to go to go right for them here for them to be able to make a comeback here there is the psi power looks like it's gonna hit up uh one on everyone okay interesting choice go ahead throw down a draw energy here um caitlin and or cynthia and caitlin um gonna go ahead and get back that faba like i said Give ourselves the option of that moving forward to get rid of that other escape board would be cool cool a bunch of options here gonna go ahead and play the energy spinner because i can't get anything anymore with it can still utilize the tag whistle so we want to keep it as a tag whistle and then we are going to storm and this time i am going to move some energy off the active to the bench and there's a concession from our opponent a little bit too little too late um generally i think the malamar is a fine matchup anyway so i wasn't really too worried didn't need them to dead draw to get the dub just kind of Makes it a little bit easier for us. And that's going to do it for this video on the Guardian deck. There's a lot of things you can do with this deck. I'm not sure what the quite the quite what the correct build will look like in the end. But this is what I've been working with right now. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you're enjoying the content, subscribe. Have a good day. Thanks for watching and peace.